Today is October 16th. I have to think because when you guys see this, it'll be the 17th. So the game plan is, is we are going to, I am going to record on Tuesdays so the hubby has time to edit and do all his fun stuff and then upload on Wednesdays. That's the game plan. So, October 16th, 2018, I am Amy, and we are on Floss Tube 12. We made it. I sound a little nasally. My nose might do its thing. The weather's been crazy. So, not last weekend, but weekend before, we were at like 103 degrees. Took the kids to school this morning. It's like 58. I don't know what's happening. And all the things are blooming. So my face is just like... At least it feels like it is. Alright. So, I feel like I didn't get a lot of stitching done this week. But I feel like I got a lot of stitching done this week. So I'll let you be the judge. So let's start with Santa's house. Because I worked on Santa's house a little bit. So... I got the little chimney done and the little smoke and a couple of uh, snowflakes. Anybody else have that problem? Your nose gets all stuffy and it like totally affects your brain and the words are non-existent. I started coming across this way and I'm still having a hard time counting the two over two thing. You just don't see it as easily as I do with Ada. But I was going to keep... Yeah. All right. Listen here, you. Focus. It's too early to be this drunk. I was going to keep going and come down this way, but then I started to confuse myself because I'm count counting up is easier than counting down for some reason. I don't know why you would think it's the same, but for me... And this whole thing up here, it didn't, it wasn't working. So I decided to jump over here and start working on this section. And then I'll work my way up because it's, I think, a mirror image or close to a mirror image is this guy. And then work my way across this way. But the room down here got released. This guy. Or this guy. Might be this guy. Or this guy. It's one of these. And it's little elves decorating the Christmas tree. So, I don't know the rules to anything, really. And I try to keep it that way, because I try not to confuse myself with rules. Because then I feel guilty for breaking them. I'm not breaking any rules if I decide not to keep going on this section. And just jump down there and do the room, am I? No, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Because then I'll, I'll have a bad guilty complex. I'll feel bad like I'm cheating or something. I'm just going to jump down and do the room. That's what I'm going to work on next. So hopefully I'll get that done this week. Because that's part of my stitchy game plan. Is to get the room done. I didn't touch my Halloween one at all. Okay, but... I, oh... And I didn't take my umbrella out of the way today. Wasn't that nice of me? I did work on Dragon Kin. You guys, I almost got a freaking page finish. I have been kicking butt on this thing. So right, this square right here, going up and over, that's the rest of the page. And I'm doing color completing again. I didn't think I was going to do that for this page, but apparently I am, because I just went for it. I don't know. But I'm almost done with that page. So I almost got a page finished this week. And I think what's helping me stay motivated is that I bought this little notebook from the Walmart on clearance, as you do. Think less, do more. I'm one of those type of people that overanalyzes everything. So stop thinking and just do. I got this because it has just the months. Feel a sneeze coming. 
So it has the months. So I figured I could, like right here, August, I started Dragonkin. I started it on the 1st, and I don't have a finish date, obviously, because I'm not done. And I figure with big projects like that, I can keep myself motivated by uh, Peeping Tom. Title. It's washing out. Page one, date I start, date I finish. And I just keep going. Well, this week's been bothering me because this doesn't have a page finish yet. And I don't like the fact that this doesn't, it's not finished. Like the column is not even. Does that make sense? So then I'll start the next one and then I'll get all grr because my columns aren't even. So yeah. And then I did little indicators over here. So this is my whole row. So it's nine pages across for one row. And then it's 10 rows down. It's 90 pages, y'all. 90 pages. And I think the next one I ordered is like 68, 70 pages, somewhere in there. With 87 colors as well. And then because these are all the, the pages I needed over here, I just kept writing page, page, page. Because that's how I do. But page 90 is where it ends. So the rest of this is like blank space. So I can use that to document like where did I order it from? Did I order the kit? Did I, you know, what type of fabric did I use? What type of thread did I use? Blah, 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 blah. I can use this space for all that information. But it's keeping me motivated and that's key. So there's that. That's all the stitching I did this week, y'all. That's it. That's all I focused on. I did write a couple notes down because I want to talk about some good books that I've read over the last couple of weeks because it's been crazy. But let's talk haul. Yay! So, I know y'all know who Michelle is from Bendy Stitchy. She has a Bendy Stitchy D stash on Instagram. And I, I went a little crazy. But it was all for a good cause. It's for an amazing cause. And I got a boatload of stuff. All the things. So this was the one that I was super excited to get. Prank. Uh, Lugana 28 count. Which I've never worked on Lugana or 28 count. By Picture This Plus. Isn't it pretty? Look at that modeling. Oh. oh, it's so pretty. I don't know what I'm putting on it. I'm guessing Halloween. Possibly a fall piece, but I'm thinking more of a Halloween piece. I don't know. Got tons and tons of Ada. I bought a lot. As in, like, she had a lot of them in a bundle. So I bought, I think I bought two of the lots. I don't think this is all in one. I'm pretty sure there was two. So there's these. And I'll show you a couple at a time because I got quite a bit here. And these. And they're all Ada, which is perfectly fine by me because that's my go-to. I, I can see what I'm doing on Ada. And this is like a seafoam green, a mint maybe. There's three separate pieces here. Which is so much fun. And then these guys I'm super excited to get because they were... Um, or I'm, I want to do that. Oh, I see myself in the face. I want to do the shoot for the moon. You'll land amongst the stars or whatever it is in that cross stitch magazine. And I needed more of the Navy Ada. So I got two more pieces. And I think this one is also a Navy. Maybe if I hold it up against that. I can't tell. Is that one Navy as well? I'll take it out of the bag. I gotta make things complicated. It is navy. It looks pretty navy to me. What do you guys think? I think that's a navy. So now I have all the pieces that I need because I already bought one. So there's that one as long as it's big enough, which 12 by 14 should be more than plenty. This one, however, is different. I've never seen anything like this before. And it's all like, like this part you don't stitch on, but this part you do, right? 
I mean, I guess you could stitch on that. I'm not gonna. I want to find a pattern that will fit in here that's kind of cutesy, that's kind of fall-ish, and then I can use it on my table. Because I have a milk glass bowl that I put, like, the kids' fruit in. I think that would be cute. I don't know what type of pattern I want to put on that, though. I don't know enough of the things to know the things on who to go to to find a pattern for that. But I got a bunch of magazines, too. Look at that little elephant. Oh, we're not going to have issues focusing again, are we? Okay, good. <gasps> Speaking of, do you see my finger? These are called Oh My Gourd. And I'll keep them there. Why do I keep finding little pieces of paper? Or thread. Anyways. These are called Oh My Gourd. By Color Street. And they're freaking cute. Okay, we're all better. So the trick is, sneak a magazine up, then show your nails. Um... I'll get to Color Street in just a minute. I have to get through the bendy stitchy stuff first. So I think that one's really cute. I think that little cat is cute. Look at the little kittens. Oh my gosh. Okay. This one I got because of the cars. Jonah's like really into... Every time we drive around anywhere, he's like, is that an older car? Is that a classic? So he's starting to really get interested into the classic cars. So I think I'm going to make these into ornaments for him. Maybe do them in different colors. I don't know see what happens and then I got this one so this one's from 1990 or 1988 it was three and it's kind of falling apart and it's okay but I bought it for this one. Oh, be nice amazing grace we were in choir. We used to sing that song throughout the halls all the time. I love that song. And then I got this one because of all the different ornaments. And because I want to do this guy back here. Because I think he's super cute. I can't see you. And you're not focused. Yep, yep, yep. I want to do that one. And then... Look at how cute! Ah, I just want to do that one because, okay, I'm getting a little out of hand. So for someone who really didn't celebrate or decorate or anything for like the last, I don't know, 33 years, all of a sudden now I want all the things. All the things! And I got this kit. It's called Cool Cats. Because look at how cute they are. Okay, you guys are watching Michelle, which, I mean, come on. Um, she just did a video with Lolly from Lollipop Stitches. I think that's her name. Ooh, I may have gotten that wrong. Don't be mad. I think it's Lollipop Stitches, who's also phenomenal. And Michelle was going through her kits and her stuff and the things that she has. And she's trying to, like, weed out the stuff that she just isn't going to do because our taste change or whatever and Lolly being the dear friend that she is is helping and encouraging and all of that stuff with Michelle and all I all I hear is Lolly going do you really need that what are you going to do with it where are you going to put that when you're done with it so now Lolly probably doesn't even know who I am, but now I hear her in my head when I'm looking at things. Do you really need that? When are you going to stitch it? Are you going to start it? Or are you just going to keep it in the back of a closet? Like, what are you going to do with it when you're done with it? looking at that cool cats and I'm like that was an amazing idea when I got it because I really freaking like it where the heck am I going to put it because I don't have any like cat decor let's put it in my craft room yeah I have room somewhere it's fine my big projects like the um the dragonkin I'm sorry 
<laughs> oh, my poor nose. Stupid allergies. My dragonkin and the next one that's coming in, I have plans for those. They're going in my living room. The diamond paintings that I've done, they're going in my living room. I have this huge wall. So I have plans for those. The two that I'm doing down here, those are seasonal, so those get packed away every year. See, I can hear Lolly going, what are you going to do with it? Where are you going to put that? Where's that going to go? <laughs> Maybe it'll help rein me in so I don't buy all the things. Okay. And then, piece de resistance. Is my freaking card. I'm going to hold that there for a minute. I hope that's not backwards. Is that focused? That's the next question. There we go. I'll hold that there for a minute. You can hit pause. I'll let you read that. I'm going to pull them away for just a minute so you can see the details on this card. This card and I are going to be new best friends. It's now my bookmark in my Game of Thrones series, because I started reading the Game of Thrones series because Michelle said to. And when Michelle says, you do, right? I legit was the best person to send that card to. Because if you remember, a couple weeks ago, we talked about, I'm allergic to alcohol. So, thank you, Michelle. I freaking love that. I saw that card, and then I read your little note, and I about it's my pants laughing. I was like, that's freaking awesome. <laughs> I'm keeping it forever. <laughs> what better way than in the books that I'm reading? Because of Michelle. All things bendy. <laughs> We're going to hashtag that. All things bendy. Okay, what else do we have? Started a diamond painting. Found this at Walmart. I know, right? Walmart. And it's kind of canvassy. I don't know if you can hear that. Surged on the edges. I was a little impressed. A little impressed. I think it was like 1287 or something. You know, they always have to have weird numbers. They can't just be like everyone else. The details in that are coming out really nice, considering I didn't see that five minutes ago because it was in my face. So I'm working on that. Little Miss Scarlet lost a tooth last night. So I was up all night making sure the Tooth Fairy did her job. You know, because the last couple of times, I don't know where she was at, but she didn't show up. So, I was up all night waiting for the Tooth Fairy, making sure she did her job. Then I went to bed. I was working on that. I think that's all I've really done crafty this week. I think that was it. We're going to jump back to these real quick because I keep seeing them flash across my screen. Um, giveaway is still going. It's going until October 30th. Thir what? Now I'm just making up words. October 30th. I will pull the winner on October 31st. And the winner will get to choose stash or bag. Yep. I haven't picked for my stash yet. So I'll show it on here next week. Because next week will be the last, right? Because the 30th is on a... Oh. 30th is on a Tuesday. So on Tuesday, the 30th, I will show you the bag designs and the three that I, or the few that I have picked. I'm, I'm sticking with a number. I don't do rules. Um... The few that I picked from my stash, and I'll show you guys those on the 30th. I'll do it here and on Instagram. So whichever way you follow, or hopefully you follow both, you'll know what's going on. And I feel very scatterbrained. Last week I was scatterbrained because I was off by a week. This week I'm scatterbrained because all the stuff is just... <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Um... Talked about Santa's house. Scarlet lost a tooth. Crochet projects. Okay, here's the thing. For all my crocheters out there. Alicia, you listening? Okay, cool. And I know there's a couple of you other, other people out there that crochet as well. If you have a favorite person that you watch on YouTube who crochets baby girl stuff, 
throw me the recommendation down below because right now I'm having an issue of I want to do all the things and I don't have time for all the things. So I need to pick a few things. I want to do a nursing blanket, but I don't know what pattern I want to do. This is the yarn that I got. It's kind of fuzzy. It's a little warm. But it's light, which is why. I got this one and purple, and I want to do them together. I don't know what type of pattern I want to do. I have, obviously, a boatload of pinks everywhere. Um... I need patterns. Patterns on YouTube that are full tutorial because I don't make up my own stuff. I follow patterns, I follow tutorials, and I do it step by step with them because that's how I roll. So, patterns for baby girl stuff. Throw some recommendations down below because I need y'all's help. I'm looking at too many things and overwhelming myself instead of just buckling down and saying, okay, this is what I want to do. Okay, so that call went out. Books. All the books. So my problem is that I read too many books at one time. Kind of like cross-stitching. I cross-stitch too many things at one time. So right now I've been really good and I've been dedicated to Clash of Kings. Because my husband really, really wants me to watch the series, but I will not watch the series until I've read all five books. Because in my head, I have an idea of what the characters are supposed to look like. And believe it or not, I don't know what all the characters look like. Amongst all of the social media and flashes on the TV and all that stuff. I know what certain people look like. Um, but not all of the characters have been shown where I can see them. So, or if I have seen them, I haven't figured out who they are, if that makes sense. So in my head, I have it a certain way. So if I watch the show, then it's going to ruin the image that I have, and I don't want that. So I've been trying to whip through these. I'm not moving very fast. At least I don't feel like I'm moving very fast. Reading these books is a lot like cross-stitching. You read 100 pages, and you think, wow, that was 100 pages. That was a lot. And then you look back at it, and you're like, eh, did you really do a lot? Was that, was that really a lot? Because in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't look like much. <laughs> so... That's there. I read that in the morning with my cup of coffee. I feel like my nose is all over the place. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know it grosses some people out. But it's better than my nose running. Okay. Oh, my poor nose. I'm gonna look like Rudolph before Christmas is here. Um, so I've been reading that, like, in hand. Reading that. I've stopped all my other books for right now, and I'm focused on that one. However, at night, when my body and my brain say, hey, let's just stay awake to stay awake because this won't turn off and my body likes to ache when it gets colder outside. I like the cooler weather. It doesn't like me back. So I've been reading a lot of books at night on my phone, which I have linked to my Kindle. So or I have the Kindle app, however you want to word that. So I'm going to go back about three to four weeks because I haven't really talked about books on my channel. Um, I read a book called The Good Widow by Liz Fenton. The book was kind of crazy. So I'm not very good at describing stories without giving too much away. So I'm going to try to keep it very simple. And if you want to go read it, please do because I thought it was phenomenal. Now, I'm also the type of person that it takes, it has to be really, really bad for me to say that anything's bad, whether it's a movie, a book, or whatever, because I think everybody does a great job. So, um, The Good Widow, though, is based on a woman who pretty much has the cops knock on her door and was like, hey, by the way, your husband was in a fatal accident. We just wanted to deliver his things to you, and we're sorry for your loss, blah, blah, blah. And she's like what are you talking about? She thought her husband was in like, I think Kansas and he had an accident in Hawaii. Come to find out he had, he was having an affair. Now you find all this out in the very beginning because that's what's, what starts the whole adventure. So I'm not giving too much away. Um, 
She finds out that her husband was having an affair and he took his mistress to Hawaii. Well, the mistress's fiance, because she was also, she was engaged to be married. Um, her fiance finds the wife and says, hey, I want to know why. I want to know why your husband. I want to know why I wasn't good enough. Yada, yada, yada. The best way we can get answers is to go to Hawaii and talk to the people that they talk to. So basically do everything they did on the trip up to the point of the accident. When I got to the end of this book, it was like a WTF. Are you, are you kidding me? I got to, like, I would read, you know, a couple of chapters and then I'd fall asleep. I'd read a couple chapters, fall asleep. But when it came down to like the last three or four chapters, I stayed up to like three o'clock in the morning. I couldn't stop. I had to know what was going on. I thought it was phenomenal. Um, the next series that I've been reading, I have read these last four books over the last like two weeks. <laughs> Maybe two and a half weeks if I'm pushing it. Um, they're called Sarah's Game, Sarah's Past, Sarah's Fear, One More Game. They're all done by Ernie Lindsay. Now, I have Kindle Unlimited, and I f I'm in love with the Kindle Unlimited. I don't know how I haven't had this before, or when I did have it before, if I had it before. I don't remember. The hubby knows. Um, I didn't use it to its full potential. So you can rent out like 10 books at a time or whatever from their library and just go. Because I'm reading so many different authors that I've never even heard of. And I mean, that doesn't say a lot because I, I have a very narrow mind. I haven't been exposed to a lot of different authors. So Ernie Lindsay is like one of my new faves because Sarah's Game, I think I read that in like two days. So I can only really tell you about Sarah's game because it's linked into Sarah's past and into Sarah's fear. And if I say too much about any of them, it gives all of them away, if that makes sense. Like they're that intertwined. Um, so Sarah's game, um, Sarah's a mother. She has a set of twins, two little girls, and then she has a son. And her husband's name is, I think, Brian. And you find out like right in the beginning of the book, Brian disappeared two years ago and she has no idea what happened. He's been a missing person for two years and she's starting to kind of move on with her life and realize that either he's gone or he's never coming home. Like he's moved on with his life as well. So she's been raising her kids, single mom, and she is like one of the top notch um, people in this company called Light Pulse and they make video games. And she's at work one day and she gets a phone call from her one kid's school because I think the two girls go to one school and then the little boy goes to a different school. Um, I don't know if it's an ele I can't remember if it's elementary, junior high type situation, which I think it is. But anyways, she gets a call from one of her kids' school says, um, we can't find your son. He was outside playing and now he's gone. And she's like, okay, maybe he's playing hide and seek and doesn't realize that the game is over and that he's supposed to be coming into class. I'm on my way. As she goes to walk out the door, she gets a call from her daughter's school and their principal is also going, we can't find your daughters. So now all three of her kids have been kidnapped. She runs out to her car and she gets a note on her, I think it was on her windshield, something along the lines of, um, are you ready to play the game? That's it. I'm stopping there. I read that first book in like two days. It was intense. Insane. And of course, as soon as I was done with that one, I picked up the next one and just kept going because it was like, what the crap? One more game though, which is the fourth book in the series. It only has like 48, 50 pages in it or whatever. It's a really short book, which continues from one of the um, characters that are in the, the first three. I'm now reading the uh, book called The White Mountain, which is about two of the characters that you meet in the third book. Because now I'm like invested in all of the characters and he has all these different books that are about this person and that person and how this person and this person. And, 
So now I'm like, okay, I just need to read all the books. I'm in. I'm going to read them all. I don't know what all else is out there, but I'm going to read them all. So those are the books that I've been reading. I have a goal on my Goodreads for 25 books for the year. I think before I got my Kindle Unlimited, I had like six books. I think I'm up to like 18 now. So yeah, I've been reading a lot. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's all the things I have to show you. I'm waiting on my diamond paintings to come in, which I'm not sure, like, I got an email saying that they were being shipped and here's your tracking number, but the tracking number's not working. I just think I have an issue with tracking numbers. They don't like me. They don't actually work for me. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Anyways, on that note, stay random, don't kiss your projects, and I'll see you guys next week.